build it, build it back out. I'm using an epoxy resin with just a little bit of base color to it, just to speed up the color process. And it hardens up really fast. You have to work it pretty quick. You can use a rasp or a chisel or you know any any woodworking tool shape it and then of course with its shape you have to cut uh, grains into it so it matches the oak grain on there and, and you uh, I use aniline dyes to dye the color in and top coat it and all that so it makes for a really nice looking repair and plus this stuff is actually harder than the wood itself you know, it's a maintenance thing. I mean, things get dinged. I mean, it's nothing doesn't happen anywhere. I mean, just running a vacuum cleaner around in a in a church or whatnot, you know, sure. like the pews or the piano or whatever's there, you know, gets you know, banged up with vacuum cleaner marks and things like that. That after a while of doing it, you start to notice. But our our company, I mean, what we do is we specialize in antique restoration and uh, furniture refinishing. And we, we generally work on furniture. Now, you wouldn't think of, a, of an organ or a piano or something like that. Some people think it's a, it's a piece of furniture. Now, I could glue that back down, but the way it's splintered out, <clears throat> it won't go completely down, so I couldn't get off. We've been involved in some restoration of several of the uh, larger you know, churches in the area, including this one. Uh, I guess about 10, 12 years ago, we redid all the pews and woodworks in here. We're located out on Peach Orchard Road, just uh, mm. south of Bobby Jones. We have a restoration shop out there. We also have a, you know, a sales a supply shop. We supply um, a lot of finishing products, um, stains, lacquers, furniture strippers, things of that nature, furniture parts and pieces, and hard to find stuff. But we do we do all kinds of neat stuff. Pretty funny story. I don't, I don't know if you've seen the uh, Toy Story. No. Like in the second one, one of the characters, of course, is a toy, you know. And they had this this old guy. And of course, the, the toy character gets broken, and uh -huh. they don't know what they're going to do, and they call in this guy, and he's got a kiss just like that. <laughs> Opens it up and he pulls out a new eyeball and puts it in there. Oh, and all yeah. That stuff. I went in a home one time working on some stuff in there and I had my kid out and I'm working along. Uh huh. And this, this little boy comes walking in there. He couldn't have been more about oh, maybe five or six years old. He comes walking into the room and he, he saw the kid and called, Mom! Toy Story! <laughs> <laughs> about it for a minute until it, until it dawned on me what he was talking about because I had seen that particular movie. I just, I got a big kick out of that. It's pretty much anything you need to touch up anything is in there. I rarely, rarely have to go out, out to the truck and get something. And I can stay concentrated on, you know, the task at hand. These are some of the dyes that you use. Uh huh. You touch it up, and basically they're they're in powder form. You basically, select your base color powder. You apply uh -huh. it with your finger, oh. like that, and then you use a. Well, with the powders, you can use any medium you want, whether it's water base, lacquer base, shellac base, oil, or whatever. Not really quite as hard to recreate a piece of wood, but this particular stuff here. I mean, I've gone in where a dog will be chewed half of a ball and claw <laughs> foot off, you know, and you could actually re rebuild that ball 
long claw in just a couple of hours. Wow. You just, you know, carve away everything. It doesn't look like a ball and claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get quite a few dog repairs. Dogs, kids, cats, movers. Movers yeah. are always good for good for a job, you know. <laughs> <laughs>